Last episode, I prepared to install the new instrument screens by sawing new holes and painting the console area in the cockpit. Well, that dries. Um, let's go set up the NEMA 2000 system inside the cabin where I can show you all the wiring and how the NEMA 2000 works. All right, back down here in the cabin, we're gonna look at the other end of this uh, system. So the instrument system, right? So the other end, we saw the screens, which is how you see the data that's on the screen. But where does that data come from? It's gonna be the transducers, which I've shown you a few things before, but now let's get a better understanding of this NEMA 2000 system and why it's easier and better than the old system we had with multiple cables. To understand the NEMA 2000 network, it's easiest if I draw a picture. Here's the boat with the mast. And I'll draw a little helm here and a little console area where I'm going to install the instrument screens. So the main ingredient with our NEMA 2000 network will be this, the backbone cable or the trunk. This is from where all other instruments will branch off. Our first instrument, which I will mark in red, is our speed and depth transducer. It's connected to the backbone using this special T connector. Here's a close-up of the T connector. You can see how the backbone cable will run through it left and right, and then our instrument component will be on the T portion to branch off. Again, I'll indicate this with the red ink. Now let's add the wind transducer to my boat, which will go up the mast. This again will branch off to the backbone cable. Then moving aft, we'll use another T connector and connect our GPS antenna. Then, obviously a main component is power. So we'll use another T connector to connect a wire to the battery power source. And finally, we'll use another T connector to connect our instrument panel screens. Oh, I almost forgot. You need to use a terminator end piece on each end. However, as I learned in the next episode, the wind transducer will act as its own terminator to the forward end of our network. But we'll get to that next episode. Okay, let's get back. Yeah, transducer here for the depth and speed. We're also gonna have, uh, soon we're gonna have the wind transducer. I'm gonna set up the wind transducer in the next couple of days, but that's a much more, uh, much more of a chore to actually climb the mast and do the whole thing. But for today, I wanted to show you how this works. So we're gonna treat the uh, depth and speed transducer as our far end uh, of the backbone. And then our screens to show the data will be the other end of our backbone. So let's connect the, uh, and also the backbone cable. I've already put it through here and I've kind of followed some of these other cables. Um, and I've put it through here, up to here, um, and it goes to right there. That's our backbone cable, only one compared to three that we had before. Okay, it's supposed to be all about these connectors. This is how you connect the different cables, and we're gonna do that now. I've got my speed and depth transducer. I'm going to connect it. It actually has to go in the, the T portion, the bottom portion of the T, because the backbone will be running through this. So I'm gonna connect that here. Screw it into place. And then I'm gonna connect our backbone to the other side of that. Okay. You're also gonna need the end piece. Okay, and that's gonna go right there. Our speed and depth transducer right there, our backbone cable there, and then this will cap off for the end. Tighten it down. And I'll grab our next, I'll grab the next component. Like I said, the backbone piece goes there, 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 and ends up under the navigation station over here. Okay. Try to get back down here. No, don't worry. This place is a complete mess right now. Okay, within a week, I'm gonna have this whole place completely cleaned up and you will see a completely new makeover of a boat. Right now it's in shambles because of the repair work. All right, 
All right, here's our GPS device here. So for temporary, and just to see if the system works, I'm going to uh, install the GPS kind of at our midway point, right? Connect the GPS, it also has the same kind of connector on the back here, and then that's gonna be another component. It has its own T connector. I'm gonna connect this, member to this part of the T because it's the component piece. And then I'm gonna connect our backbone through here, which is actually down here. Now I have put the T on it there. I've got another length of backbone cable that I bought at the store. So I'm gonna run this section to the back toward the batteries where we're gonna use uh, the next connector to be our power supply. And then we'll have another cable of a backbone that goes to the screens. Wait for it, I'm gonna to put together this, uh, this next backbone piece. I've now run the other backbone cable. It goes down there, there. It goes by the starter battery. It goes by here. Now the, the other thing to think of whenever you're you know, just getting started out in sailboat ownership or boat ownership, you'll see all these wires and you'll freak out like, what is all this stuff? And it's very intimidating. But um, to be honest with you, it's not, it all serves a purpose. And so what I needed to do was that there was the, the instrument um, switch on the control panel that um, obviously would turn on the old instrument. Uh, so I wanted to use that same power source to do the new instruments. So I traced the lines from the instrument panel. Came back here. You probably can't see. So our power support, power source goes right in here. I use the multimeter. So I'm going to use the new power system, which is merely a NEMA 2000 um, plug that goes into the power. Okay, yeah. So I got that hooked up. Now I'm going to hook up the NEMA 2000 cord to the backbone piece. Backbone to this using another T connector. And that's gonna be our power supply. Now just for fun, now just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and get the the power screen to show you what the screen will look like although i'm not going to have it in place yet because we're still doing the painting job um, so i'm going to get the screen one screen all right i found the screen box i've got two additional pieces which is the another t and then our end piece we've got our cable here Got the, I got the new T in there for our next item. I'm gonna put the end cap on as well. So our whole system should now be in place end to end. From the speed depth transducer to the GPS to the power, now to the screen, our final piece. Obviously this isn't how I'm gonna set it up whenever I actually set it up because I'm going to set it up on the uh, in the cockpit area. This is just a test, folks. This is just a test. So I've got it all plugged in. Before I plug it in, I want to read the instructions so I know that nothing like blows up if I've done it improperly. So hold the phone right there. there go. All right, here's our screen. So I've got it plugged in. Right there. Now I'm going to let you the viewer see it even before me if this thing comes on. I'm going to flip the switch to turn it on for the power. Three, two, one. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's working, it's working. It's working. Okay. Somehow it is working. I have no idea how I did that. All right, so now we've got our setup. It's, probably, it's gonna just get the GPS and the boat speed and depth. Completed. Okay. 
the depth is working. The depth is working. And it's fairly shallow here. It's only 7.7 .7 feet. <laughs> the depth is working now. I was so nervous that the depth was not going to work with my uh, crazy installation that you saw a few weeks ago, the drilling of the hole. It is working. I cannot believe I did something that's actually working. All right, so that's depth. The other thing that should be working is the GPS. There. So our GPS is working. And then whenever we get all the wind stuff, it'll have wind speed, all that. But it has our position right there because of the GPS. Okay, well that about does it for today. Now you know about the NEMA 2000 system. Uh, now finally the box unboxing I did a couple months ago is finally coming to fruition. Um, this is the entire box. Uh, depth speed transducer, GPS, the backbone cable, the screen. So the two final pieces of this is obviously going to be install the screen up by the, uh, the helm and then to climb the mast and make sure that speed transducer will work. That's going to be a bear. That's going to be a bear. So that'll be the next big project. Um, I'm pretty excited about this though. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You win. Perfect. Next episode, I climb the mast to complete the installation of the electronics package. However, I run into some major problems. I can't even begin to tell you the, uh, the frustration at this point. This is one of the most defeated days I've had of boat ownership so far.